Oh, sweet Maine. This was my first travel since March due to COVID 19 this year. But also, thanks to the pandemic, this trip was possible. I was ready for an adventure. My friend Kat invited me to her beautiful family cabin right on the lake in just 30 minutes to Acadia National Park. I woke up every morning for a run as usual, then a ride on the kayak, where I get lost in the most surreal pond that was paved by lily pads and luscious grass. being alone on the water, with the sun glistening on my skin, the wind whispering in my ears. I had forgotten how good it felt to be back in solitude, in somewhere foreign where I've never been before. Of course you can't visit me without eating a lobster, but the real joy was seeing all the lobster culture everywhere. Acadia National Park is a dream come true for hike fanatics like me. So many trails with incredible views, and all so very unique with varying levels of difficulties. You can set the limits to how high and challenging you wish to push yourself, and most trails will loop you back somewhere or another so you don't have to worry about getting lost. Kat and I hiked together for a few days, and the other days I went alone, so these hikes can be done easily solo. You'll meet many friendly faces along the way, and you'll never be completely alone. It didn't really matter so much getting to the peaks of these hills, because the whole journey of climbing to get there and down was half the fun. It wasn't like it was a race or a gold medal waiting. So I in fact didn't want to rush because I knew I wouldn't be back here for a long time or never. So just wanted to soak up every moment of the experience. The full moon blessed us with its glow, lit up the sky and brightened the evenings into the night, with the sounds of the slow moving lake tucking me into bed till the morning sun. I was looking forward to this trip. I was dying to get out of the house after months of being cooped up in one place. But I realized after reaching the grass that is greener on the other side that it's not better than where I currently am. 
There is duality to every aspect of life, and we take for granted what is almost entitled until it's gone. There will never be enough, better, bigger, because we are so used to the next best thing. But if we exercise our capacities to cherish the simple joys of life, we can learn to be content, if not happy, wherever we are, regardless of our situation.